Hi there, welcome to Two Birds, I'm Fiona. Today's class is a 40 minute dynamic vinyasa flow class combining warming sun salutes, standing and balancing poses, back bends, hip openers and forward folds. And the class moves at a continuous rhythmic pace to open and warm your body and get you ready for the day. I hope you enjoy. Thanks so much for joining. Namaste. And begin your practice in child's pose, balasana, at the back of your mat. Taking your knees wide to the width of your mat and walking your hands forward, letting your torso relax toward the floor between your thighs. Invite your forehead to rest softly on your mat. And softening the space between your shoulder blades and use the press of your hands and the reach of your arms to elongate your side waist and accentuate an extension through your spine. Begin to breathe a calm, clear breath in and out. Feeling your ribs and torso expand wide on your in-breath. Breathing out deliberately, just inviting your body to soften between your thighs. Take three more cycles of breath. And on your inhale, lift up just a little ways and go ahead, thread your right arm underneath your left arm for a twist. Coming to rest on your right side cheek. Reach and creep your right fingertips away from your face. Seeking sensation through your upper right shoulder. I'm taking one more deep breath in and on your exhale switching sides and staying low to the floor and moving breathing calmly as you transition three more deep breaths Transitioning now onto all fours, balancing your knees underneath your hips, your hands under the shoulders, and we'll begin to wave the spine, extending and contracting through cat and cow, firmly imprinting your fingers and your knuckles, pressing the floor away from you, and letting your movement and your breath Touch all three parts of your spine. And as you feel yourself breathe out, send your seat to your heels for extended child's pose. Extending forward to the edge of your fingers, and just take the next few breaths to make your way into downward facing dog. Gliding up onto all fours, tucking the toes, lifting the hips up and back. And explore any movement that feels good in your body here, biking the heels, shimmy the hips, shaking your head. And then just find a place of stillness, taking three more calm, clear breaths. And 
with a light bend in your knees now, looking forward between your hands. Go ahead, make your way to the top edge of your mat. Setting your feet up, hips width apart. When you arrive there, lift up halfway, hands to the shins, extending your chest forward. On your exhale, forward fold, soft bend in the knees. Inhale, rise, slow to stand, reach your arms overhead. And pause, hands to your heart center. Flowing through our warming sun salutes now, beginning with a half sun salute. Inhaling, our arms rise overhead, touch your palms. Exhaling, dive forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, coming up halfway. And exhale, forward fold. Rise to stand, strong legs, push the floor away. And exhale, Tadasana, hands to prayer at your heart. Two rounds, Surya Namaskar C now, flowing one movement, one breath. Inhale, arms overhead, Urdhva Hastasan. Exhale and fold, Uttanasan. Ardha Uttanasan, your halfway lift. Exhale, fingertips down, step your right foot back for low lunge. One breath here, reach your arms. Exhale, hands to the floor, stepping back to your strong plank pose. On your exhale, first round, knees, chest and chin to the floor. Coming into cobra pose, keeping it low, curving your spine, breathing in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathing in. Exhale, step your right foot up between your thumbs, low lunge, left knee softly down, arms rise on your in-breath. Exhale, stepping up, top edge of your mat. Inhaling, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, release and fold. Come to stand with your in-breath, reach tall, spot your thumbs. Exhale, hands to your heart center. Left side now, second round, moving with your breath. Circle your arms overhead, breathing in. Exhale, dive forward, forward fold. Inhale, your halfway lift, opening your throat, looking forward. Exhale, left foot lunging back, low lunge. Reach your arms, breathing in. Exhale, vinyasa, stepping back to your plank pose. Chaturanga, low push up to the floor. Bhujangasan, cobra pose. Exhale, firming your abdominal core, rolling back, downward facing dog. Deep breath in. And on your exhale, left foot forward, low lunge. Arms rise, chest lifts, exhale, hands to the floor and stepping up, breathing in, opening, breathing out, folding in, root down through your feet to rise, strong thighs, exhale, pause, hands to prayer, Tadasan. Two rounds, Surya Namaskar A now, maintaining this even cadence to your breath. Inhale, arms overhead, gaze up. Exhale and forward fold. Breathing in, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, hands down, step back, plank pose. Pause, breathe in. Exhale, Chaturanga, low push up. Take a back bend of your choice now, upward dog or cobra. Exhale a long, slow breath out, downward facing dog. 
three smooth cycles of breath. Lengthening your arm bones, pressing your thighs and shin bones back in space. Inhale, gaze forward. End of your exhale, float or step, top edge of your mat. Breathing in, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Come to stand with your in-breath, arms reach tall. Exhale, hands to prayer, Tadasan. Second round, breathing in, arms float overhead, press your palms. Exhale and fold. Elongate your spine as you come up halfway, breathe in. Exhale, Vinyasa, plank to Chaturanga. Back bend on your in breath. Downward facing dog on your out breath. Stay connected to your ujjayi breath. Smooth and steady, breathing with sound. Breathe in deeply. End of your exhale, empty your lungs, float, hop or step to the top edge of your mat. Toes to touch, inhaling a halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Rise tall, stretch up, stand. Exhale, Tadasan. Stay with me, we've got two rounds Surya Namaskar B now and please modify or do your own dance here if you lose contact with your breath. Just give yourself permission to rest or skip the vinyasas, just prioritizing your breath and your focus. On your in-breath, bend the knees, coming into chair pose, Utkatasan, breathing in. Exhale and forward fold. Inhaling, Ardha Uttanasana, looking forward. Exhale, hands down, plank to Chaturanga. Upward dog or cobra on your in-breath. And exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in. On your exhale, step your right foot forward, warrior one. Land and press your left heel firmly down, reaching up on your in-breath. Exhale, hands to the floor, vinyasa. Upward dog or cobra, moving with your breath. Downward facing dog. Breathe in. Exhale, your left foot steps up now, warrior one. Expansive breath in as you rise and reach your arms. Exhale, hands to the floor, stepping back through your vinyasa. Downward facing dog, taking full three cycles of breath. Just feeling the warmth of your breath now its fullness around your ribs. Looking forward on your in-breath, light bend in the knees, end of your exhale, step or hop forward. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhale, release and fold. Bend your knees deeply, chair pose. Feel the weight in your heels. Exhale, press to stand. Straight legs, hands to prayer at your heart. Take an extra cycle of breath. Settle here, last round, neck and then a rest coming up. Chair pose on your in-breath. Forward fold on your out-breath. Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, hands down, vinyasa, letting your breath guide your movement. 
Try not to ration your breath, giving it full access as you move. Meeting up in downward facing dog. Breathing in. Exhale, step your right foot forward, warrior one. No rush, in your own time. And a vinyasa, hands to the floor. High to low push up. Upper dog or cobra. Long out breath sends you back, downward facing dog. Breathe in. Exhale, left side warrior one now. Arms reach on your inhale. Exhale, vinyasa. And just slow the momentum of your movement. Keep including your breath. And we'll all meet up in downward facing dog. And taking three full cycles of breath. Well done. Looking forward on your in-breath between your thumbs, end of your exhale, travel to the top edge of your mat. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, fold and release. Bend the knees, Utkatasan chair pose, just here for a beat. Press to stand. Tadasan. Take a moment, settle the rhythm of your breath. From here, to separate your feet, hips distance apart now. On your in-breath, circle your arms overhead. Exhaling, forward fold. You can have a light bend in your knees there. Go ahead, hook your big toes with your peace fingers and your thumb. Once you have your bind, take a halfway lift, chest open. And exhale, forward fold here, here for a few slow breaths. Invite your head to hang heavy, your cheeks and your jaw can relax. And taking two more slow, deep breaths. And keeping your bind there, take a halfway lift. Exhale, release your fingers and fold forward. Rise all the way to stand. Reach your arms. On your breath out, just taking your hands to your hips now. Moving into Uchita Hasta Parangustasana, standing big toe pose. We'll balance on our right foot to begin. Bend and lift your left knee in toward your chest, hooking your peace fingers and thumb around your left big toe. Once you have your bind, adjust your posture upright. Stabilize with a light engagement through the right, right buttocks. And you can either stay here if you've got tight hamstrings or go ahead and extend your left foot forward. Once you have your balance, feel for some subtle adjustment opportunities. Left shoulder blade can swim down your back. Left collarbone can shift back. So you can stand a little taller. Now begin to take your left leg or bent knee to your left. And you can balance and manage your center of gravity by just extending your right arm out to your right. And coming back to center, hold here, keep your left leg lifting, hip flexors engaged. Just taking your prayer hands to your heart center now, preparing for warrior three. 
Balancing, finding your equilibrium, extending your left leg out behind you as your torso tips forward. And lifting the front of your shoulder heads up. Do your best to level your hips and then landing with control to a high lunge. Keep the hands low, take a moment, feel the earth beneath you. Adjusting your feet to find your balance. And engaging your abdominal core by getting the feeling you're drawing your hip bones toward one another. Now reach your arms forward. We're going to flip the palms out, taking your right palm on top of your left palm, press your hands together, and then just slowly raise your arms, finding your comfortable range of motion. And keeping the hands resisting each other and slowly take a side bend to your right here. Feeling a deep stretch into the front of your left hip. Holding your balance. Inhale back to centre. Now press your palms. Transition to warrior two. Anchoring your back heel, finding your stride, your centre. Knitting your front lower ribs toward your navel. Expand your chest through the reach of your arms. And sink a little lower through the hips. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, hands to the floor, sitting up for left side Vashistasana, side plank. Taking your right arm up toward the ceiling, two straight legs, left side, waist curving away from the floor. Stay strong. Breathe. And taking your top arm overhead now, and then shore up your abdominals. Carefully step your right toes to the floor behind you for wild thing. Pointing your left toes now, extending through your left leg, piking your hips a little higher. And then circle your right arm back and down to the floor into your plank pose. Then we'll move through a vinyasa, all meeting back in downward facing dog. Breathe in deeply. And an open mouth exhale if it feels good to let a sigh out. Taking three to five more steady breaths, regulating your breathing and just finding your rhythm. Take a deep breath in, looking forward. End of your exhale, travel to the top edge of your mat, taking your big toes to touch there, inhale, a halfway lift, exhale and forward fold, rise to stand, reach your arms overhead, breathing out, just rest your hands to your hips, second side now, balancing on your left foot. So spread through your toes, dropping an anchor into your left foot, raise and bend your right knee and taking your bind. Adjust yourself to your best upright posture, firming the muscles in and around your center of gravity. And just explore your balance here by extending your right leg out straight. Curling your right big toe around your grip dropping your right hip down to level your hips. Now experiment with taking the right leg slowly out to your right and counterbalance here, extending the left arm in the opposite direction. And then coming slow back through center. Releasing your bind, hold the leg lifted, hands to prayer. Kick out through your heel and just a nice slow motion transition to warrior three. 
keeping your right leg engaged so you feel light as you transition. Extending your heart forward, heel back. And with a soft bend in your left knee, land lightly into your high lunge, keeping your hands in prayer here. It's that lower center of gravity to find your feet. Setting the feet up about hip distance apart. And then extend your arms forward, we'll flip the palms out. This time crossing the left hand on top of your right. And then with the press of your hands, reach of your arms, extend your arms overhead. Feel the upper back, lower shoulders engage. And just take a side bend now to your left, accentuating length through the right side waist and hip. Breathing in, come back to center. Unwrap your palms. On your exhale, warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. And as you pause here, press your feet down, spread your chest. And rotate your left inner knee further to the left. In the same time, anchoring through your outer right heel. Steady gaze. Take a deep breath in, no rush. Exhale, hands to the floor for side plank now on your right. Left arm reaches toward the ceiling and you're trying to line the back of your skull, tailbone and heels into one straight line. Lifting your right side waist a little higher Sending your left arm overhead. And carefully step your left toes behind you. Moving into wild thing. Hips press up. Find a mild arch to your spine. Open chest. And exhaling, circle your left hand back and down to the floor. Coming back to your plank pose. And lower through your vinyasa. Rest coming up. And just take a few quiet moments to breathe. Settle your breath in your downward facing dog. Taking your thighs back, driving through your arms and relaxing your head heavy. And with a light bend in your knees, walk your hands back to your feet at the back edge of the man for gorilla arms. Slide the palms of your hands under the soles of your feet. Lightly tipping your weight forward, toes toward the wrist creases. And then gently resist with your hands to feel a nice counter stretch through the back of your wrists. Taking three more slow, deep breaths. Inhaling here, release your hands, take a halfway lift, looking forward and walking your hands forward now to the top edge of your mat, finding your plank pose and we'll slowly lower ourselves all the way down onto our bellies. Rest your forehead onto the mat and we'll prepare for some locust variations here. Extend and engage your leg muscles behind you. And we'll just work the arms here. So keeping your head and your feet on the floor, all ten, ten, ten toes pressing back. Inhale, raise the arms, palms face up. And then rotate the palms down and up with the beat of your breath. So you're just flipping the palms keeping the arms lifting, your upper back muscles engaged and continue on. Just feeling your triceps working here. Lift up a little higher, but do keep a nice soft energy around the back of your neck as your head rests. 
Now keep your feet on the floor, just raise your chest with your core strength. Keep your gaze down and forward and begin to pulse the palms up, lifting up. Last few here. And rest. Rest your forehead back down on the mat. And bend your knees and widen your knees away from one another. Then let your big toes touch behind you. So you're going to keep your head resting here and you can rest it into your forearms or the top of your hands or just keep your hands by your side. And on your exhale, we're going to lift the thighs and inhale to release halfway back down. So continue on. You should feel your glutes and your lower back working for you here. And you might only get just a little bit of air like me, <laughs> uh, but you're just trying to lift and lower, keeping the thighs hovering. And if you'd like to add on here, on your inhale, you can extend your legs back straight to a hover above the floor and then exhale, bend, the big toes touch, thighs lifted. Extend and bend, last few, and there's a rest coming up. Last one. And release. Shift your hands to the floor by your ribs. Gently press back into your version of child's pose and decompress through your lower back. Directing a nice deep breath into the low back spine. And when you're ready, just gliding up onto all fours, pressing back into your downward facing dog. Taking a slightly longer stride so you can really feel the extension through your side waist and your spine. Press and widen your thighs back. And from here we'll transition into pigeon pose on the right side. And when you're ready, stepping your right knee to the back of your right wrist and staying propped up on your fingers, torso upright, arrange your hips so you find symmetry and balance. So you're rolling your left thigh forward and down. And once you've found your alignment, settle quietly onto your forearms. We'll take a variation here. And keeping your left thigh spiraling down, take your right fingertips to the outside of your right knee and then walk your left arm out on a diagonal to your right. As you go, lean into the left side body. So you feel a deep outer hip stretch and a lateral stretch. Pause and breathe. And taking two more cycles of breath. And coming back through center and pressing back into your downward facing dog. And left side now, placing your left knee comfortably behind your left hand and adjust and accommodate any knee sensitivities here by staying elevated or supported with props. And also these variations are completely optional so try and make sure you arrive in a safe and comfortable alignment for your body. And settling down onto your forearms. And then lift fingertips to the outside of your left knee. Right arm reaches out on a diagonal to your left. Noticing any asymmetries across your hips and make any subtle adjustments to encourage balance and comfort for yourself. Taking a few more slow cycles of breath. And just walking yourself back to center. We're going to transition onto our buttocks now. 
So you can slide your right leg all the way around to the front or make your way there, seated upright, preparing for our final sequence. This is also giving your body a chance to transition into a state of rest and digest. And coming into Janu Shirsasana, so you're going to extend your right leg out straight and settling the left sole of your foot to your inner upper right thigh. Level your weight into both sit bones and turn your torso a little to your right so you create an even shadow over your right thigh. Inhale, reach your arms up. And exhale, forward fold. Pause and breathe. Calm, clear breath. On your inhale, gently lifting up. And on your exhale, we'll take a gentle twist to ring out the spine, right hand to your left knee, left fingertips behind you for support. Three smooth breaths to revolve to your left now. Switching sides, left side, Janu Shirsasana, head to knee pose. So just being sure to create an integrity through the base of your support. Activating a light lift and engagement from your pelvic floor to your belly. Inhaling, arms rise. And exhaling to forward fold. In your comfortable range of motion, just linger here. Perhaps close your eyes. Make contact with your breath and its pace slowing down. Inhale slowly coming back up. And we're twisting here, three deep breaths. And last forward fold now before a brief Shavasana, Paschimottanasana, two straight legs. Arms extend up on your in-breath. Forward fold and release over your straight legs on your out-breath. Very gently peel yourself all the way up and releasing now into your choice of either seated meditation or shavasana for your last few minutes here prioritizing this phase of practice as a way of integrating all the benefits of your practice and allowing you to depart your practice with a calm and peaceful nervous system. So just quietly resting, staying mindfully alert, soak in the essence of your practice.
Please feel free if you have a little bit more time to linger here. Otherwise, just slowly breathing in a deeper breath, bringing some movement to your body. Bending the knees, feet to the floor if you are laying back there. Roll gently, softly to your right. Dragging yourself all the way back up to sit. And thank you so much for practicing with me. Stay well, stay safe. Namaste.